Hi everyone and welcome back to our blog. My name is Jim Cuervo and I am your senior Revit instructor here at Digital Drafting Systems. Today's topic is creating a dormer on a pitched roof. Simple enough. Let's do it. Okay guys, here we have a very simple design of a home with a porch in front of it. We're going to go ahead and add two dormers. We've already added one, so we know what we are actually aiming for. This is the one that's been made. I went ahead and defined these three walls. There's actually three there with a window. These three walls are actually based on level two. So they're starting at level two and going up. In this particular case, you'll see that, I will click on this, this is the dormer that we're aiming. First thing that you need to do before you define your dormer is define the roof that goes on top of this. We know that this particular roof, by selecting it, is four foot two inches of level two. So that's what we're going to do to the this roof here. So they're all both equal on height in height. Let's come back to level two here. We come to architecture. In architecture, we go to build, and in build, we go to roof. Roof by footprint. Okay, we're going to say we use a rectangle with a 2.5 overhang, and we're going to say that. The, it starts here and it goes to here. Okay, we go to select modify and define these two edges to not define slope. Only these two define the slope. We are going to say offset from roof base is going to be four space two. Enter and we say check mark. Attach the roofs to the walls to the roof. That looks Awesome. Let's go ahead and move that roof back a little bit. It's a little bit on the off side, so we're just going to move it just a tidbit so it kind of looks like the other one. Uh, okay, there we go. Good enough. Now, the job at hand is to join this roof with that roof. That we go to modify geometry, not this join. This is not going to do it for you. It has to be the roof join. This one, join unjoined roof. First thing that it will ask you is what is the edge that is leading towards the surface that you want to attach yourself to? So this is the edge that is leading to that surface. Then it's what is the surface? This is the surface. And there it is. Perfectly done. So now this roof and this roof are joined. We still have another dormer. That's the next step. For that, what we'll do is we'll turn this into a nice wireframe so we can see underneath it and see our walls and all the edges that we need. We are going to need these edges here and this edge, which is the interior cut right here. Alrighty, let's do it. We come over to architecture, to the openings panel, dormer. And the dormer is gonna tell us which is the roof that's gonna be cut, which is this one. Then it's asking us to select the cutting edges. Well, the cutting edges is this one, this one, this one, this one right here. And I'm going to clean it up. Cleaning it up like this. And like that, just making sure that all of my edges are joined. And I check mark. It's done. It's attached. Let's put it back to hidden line. Doesn't look like much, but when I go to my 3D, it looks perfect. And if you want to look what it looks like, or rather, if you want to see what it looks like from the inside, I've prepared a camera. That's what it looks like. I hope you have enjoyed this particular short video. Um, till we see you next time, have fun, be safe. This is Jim Cuervo for Digital Drafting Systems. Thank you.